how traders or people in general can come back from losses. How do you coach someone out of that losing streak? I tell them to feel all their frustration and disappointment and to write it down and like wallow in it, basically. Um, to, it's essentially in my mind, you're kind of burning it out. Like it does lead you to like, what could I have done differently? You know, um, but you feel bad, you know, you're embarrassed, you know, you're mad at yourself for making a mistake or whatever. And I think the discomfort of that feeling is meant to turn your attention to what is the thing you could have done to prevent what happened. And if you don't do that, it lingers and it interrupts your confidence. Like the phenomenon of maybe I used, I couldn't used, I used to be able to do this, but maybe I can't do it anymore. Maybe mm -hmm. I've forgotten how to do it. Yes. It was pervasive. Like maybe I was lucky. Maybe I was never as good as people thought I was. Like there's all kinds of things people say. Um, when really they just need to be like disappointed and in the end mad at themselves for whatever they did actually do wrong, like accurately, you know, in retrospect. And, uh, you know, whatever factors are attributed to luck, you know, because sometimes there are. Um, and get what? An accurate, I'm always striving for what's the most accurate sense of reality, ironically, be through how people feel. But there is a grieving process. Whenever you're disappointed, there's some mm -hmm. sort of grieving process. You know, mad in denial, mad at yourself. You know, like I just walk people through it. And, and what they find is it's not so bad to feel bad about a thing that didn't go the way you want it. And it actually shortens it. You know, you think if you really lean into being like mad at yourself or disappointed or whatever it's going to overtake you and then it's going to last forever you know at least weeks to months and what's fine is it lasts for like you know hours to days instead of lingering for weeks to months to years if you just let yourself examine okay what really happened you know i'm disappointed or i'm frustrated with myself or i'm hurt or i'm angry or whatever. what really happened like where's the feeling coming from and also what's the prediction because oftentimes like you lose and then you think you've lost it and you're you're predicting that you won't be able to do it anymore. Like you, you're predicting that you can't come back and what that means to you. And that's usually um, exaggerating or amplifying the other feelings. Yes. Exactly. Are you making that prediction again, which is inaccurate? Um, well, you're making it. It's just what is it? And like, then mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, how truthful is that? You know? Thank you so much for that.